Welcome to today's Quick Tip Network setup for ARM IP10 and Sony's Pan Tilt Zoom cameras. Before we power up, we need to check switch settings on the ARM IP10. On the bottom of the unit, there are two dip switches. All of the bits should be set to off. That is, the switches will be in a down position. To enable the setup mode, the last bit on switch 2 needs to be set to on. In this state, when the unit is powered up, the control panel lights will flash, indicating the controller is in setup mode. We will use a Windows PC to configure the cameras in the remote controller, and we will use a simple network switch to connect all the devices via LAN. Sony's ARM IP10 setup tool software automatically detects the controller and cameras, and we will download and install it from the Sony Professional website. We need to know the IP addresses of the components. To find the computer's IP address, open a command prompt window, type ipconfig, and press enter. If the IP address is not 192.168.0.xx, it will need to be changed as the default IP addresses on the Sony controller and cameras are in the 192.168.0.xx range. The ARM IP10 setup tool software allows for automatic detection of the ARM IP10 remote controller and cameras on a network. After launching the setup tool software, we see the ARM IP10 listed in the controller tab and the PTZ cameras listed in the camera tab. Importantly, the software allows us to change IP addresses. After completion, click the apply button. Next, the camera table tab needs to be populated. Place check marks in groups 1.1 and 1.2 of the camera's table tab. Keep the other settings at default and click the auto assign button. The camera table will populate automatically. After completion, click the apply button. Additionally, cameras can be added manually to the camera table to allow mapping a specific camera to a specific camera button on the ARM IP10. After completion, click the Apply button. Please note, after making changes and applying those changes, the camera will reboot and it will take a few moments for the reboot process to complete. Now we're done with the ARM IP setup tool and it's time to check operation. Press one of the camera buttons on the ARM IP10 that corresponds to a camera in the camera table and move the joystick control. If you do not have visual access to see the camera's movement, connect the monitor to the video output of the camera. In case the SRG300SC is not responding to the controller, we will need to go to the SRG300SC webpage to confirm the remote control setting. In a browser, go to the IP address of the SRG300SC and choose the setting tab. When prompted, enter the username and password. By default, both are admin and lowercase. Now choose the network tab on the left side of the GUI and scroll down to confirm that the VSCA interface is set to IP. If VSCA is set to serial, click the drop down and choose IP. If you don't see IP as a choice, hold the spacebar on the computer's keyboard and then click the drop down. Choose IP and click OK. And at this point, you should have control of your Sony PTZ camera from the RMI P10 controller. If that's the case, power the controller off, turn the setup bit to off, and repower the controller. If that is not the case, please contact Sony Support via the Sony Support webpage.